here. My goodness, that's loud. Well, welcome everybody. So it is the beginning of July. Um, it's actually July the 9th. And um, we have a new year, a new Mary Kay year. So I wanted to spend just a few minutes with you guys talking about what are some goals that you could set because some of you are new in Mary Kay and maybe you're seasoned or maybe last year you didn't have the same sense of urgency and it's, it's a new year. It's a great place to start fresh. So where are there places that you can win? How to track them because a tracked number grows and if we see results, our brain then goes, okay, that's good. I'll keep going for that more and more. If our brain doesn't see a win, then it's, it's just your natural human instinct to pull back and say, well, that's okay. I didn't want that anyway. And you settle for something that's already in your comfort zone. And that's not who you are. If anything, I would wish for each and every one of you this year, 21 to 22 seminar year between now and June next year is that you play life, life at the greatest version you've ever played, spending more time in your faith, spending more time on your health, spending more time on your diet, spending more time on your love life and be more productive in your business. Not necessarily spending more time. We can spend a lot of time in Mary Kay organizing our inventory, but if that is not going to move us closer to our goals, then that may not be the most effective thing for us to do. So it's being the greatest version of yourself, but give you guys, give yourselves um, grace and permission to realize that it's just your natural human instinct to go sales court. I've never done sales court. I've never even been a star consultant. I can't do that. Your brain is going, reel it in, reel it in. That's scary out there. We've never done that before. But that's no different than you going to, let's say, one of those wilderness camps. And they say, well, we're going to teach you how to pole vault or whatever. And you're like, I've never pole vaulted. But the lady goes, oh, we can get you to pole vault at least eight feet in the air. And you're like, okay, I'm in. Instead of your body is going, no, we've never done that before. We don't want to do that. So be open to something new. Because I will tell you, your brain, when it stretches outside its, its normal little box of your comfort zone, if your comfort zone is this big, as soon as it gets to the border, it's, you know, that, that fight or flight, it's, it's it absolutely human natural reaction for your brain to go pull back, go back. And every time you get right up against the edge of your comfort zone, every time you start pushing it, it'll become, it'll resist, but then your box is bigger. Your box might start out like this big. And then your box gets this big and then your box gets this big and then your box gets this big and you keep living right there on the edge, literally living on the edge and it gets your brain to literally buy into something new. All right. So let's jump in. So one of the first things I'm going to ask you guys to do, and I'm going to post the link on our unit Facebook page is to go on YouTube and you're going to type in Janice Trude, T-R-U-D-E, and you're going to look for Janice's new video. If you can't find it, I'll just go ahead and post it on Facebook. It'll probably be faster. Janice did a video. Um, acknowledging the new year and she goes over like what's possible sales court. She shows a picture of the diamond ring. Um, actually, I don't know if she showed the pictures of the diamond ring, but she shows where the tracking is and all that. So I would first of all ask you to watch that video in the next 24 hours because it starts getting your brain to say, well, what's possible. And what I will tell you is that for everyone who says it can't be done, there's somebody out there doing it. So when people say, oh, well, um, Darcy, you can't, you can't earn a car for your family. You don't even have a team member yet. You're like, Yes, I can. You guys can do anything you want when you're determined, right? So let's talk about some of the things. So I'm going to give you a brainstorming list and you can just write on the top of the sheet possibilities. You could go for a lot of these. You could go for some of them. Now, I want to make sure you guys understand the difference between a goal and an activity. Um, doing 30 faces a month could be a goal, but it's really the activity because what is that 30 faces going to get you? Does that make sense? So once you decide what the goal is, I want to bank a thousand dollars a month for our ten thousand dollar disney cruise next year well a thousand dollars a month in 12 months from now is twelve thousand dollars so if that's the goal the goal is to send, save that much money then you go from the goal what is the activity i need to do to make that happen and that's where you become a strategist but you got to figure out where the goal is so let me ask you and this is rhetorical so you don't need to answer this right now but just think about the last, let's say the last 18 months of your life. Have you had a pattern of, and I realize it was COVID, so I get that, but have you had a pattern of setting a goal and then giving up before you even get close to the finish line? Are you a great starter and you kind of fizzle at the end? That's a possibility. Or are you a slow plotter, a slow starter, but then you love that push at the end. You love, you tell yourself, I work great under pressure which is not a good thing, but you might tell yourself, I work right under pressure. I wait till the deadline and man, I do my taxes in three hours on the 14th of April. So 
I don't know what your style is, but I will tell you the part that you need to be the most concerned about when it comes to long-term goal setting is the middle. Because you can learn to be a sensational starter. You can learn to be a fantastic finisher, but it's the middle on a long-term goal that gets more people to bail. That's why by January, when everyone swears they're going on a diet and working out, many people will make it into February. But by March 1, most people have already bailed on their goal because they don't see the result. They don't, don't see progress. They go, this is too hard. I don't want to do this. It's easier to roll over and go back to sleep. Okay. Now there is a Ted talk that I'm going to also post. Um, Brienne, oh my God, I can't remember her name. She does a thing called the five second rule. And I'll, and I'll share this with you. And what her five second rule is, it applies to every area of your life. When you want to do something different outside that, right up against the wall of that box, right? When you've got your box and you're right up against your comfort zone, your brain goes, mm -mm, we're not doing that. We're not calling that lady that scares me. I'm not going to go talk to my neighbor that intimidates me. I'm not calling my dentist to see if she wants a facial. I mean, like all the things in our brain, you count backwards from five to one and at one, you just do it. So when your alarm goes off tomorrow morning and you set it, I'm going to entice you. I know it's Saturday, but I want you to set your alarm 30 minutes earlier. Now, if you don't set your alarm on Saturday, set it tomorrow and set it 30 minutes closer than you normally do. Cause I want you to take 30 minutes tomorrow to stretch, listen to some powerful music, maybe listen to an inspirational um, Tony Robbins or something. And here's what's going to happen. That alarm goes off. You're going to probably say, are you kidding me? Like, I don't want to get up now and all of that. And so what you do is you just say to yourself, five, four, three, two, one, and you just get up, get up. And I hate to say this, but get up and go pee. Like that's all you got to do is just do that one thing. Just get up and, and go to the bathroom. And then while you're there going to the bathroom, as soon as you're done, don't even look at the bed. Just say, all you got to do is brush my teeth. What's the next thing? What's the next step? Just what's the one next step? Not, I'm going to go work out for an hour. It's like, we're still not even dressed. So then the next thing after brushing your teeth is let me put my exercise clothes on. Well, once your exercise clothes are on, you're not going to go back to bed and you're going to go work out. And once you have that routine, it stretches your brain to go, oh, that's actually a great way to start my day. And it sets a blueprint or a footprint for the next day and the next day and the next day. All right. So I'm going to give you a brainstorming list of goals. And then some of these I'll, I'll label specifically as activities. So on the top of your sheet, if you can just write possibilities. So a possibility would be to be a star consultant and a consistent star consultant. So star consultant, if you're jotting this down, is when you purchase, because the company has no way to know how much we sell, when you order 1800 wholesale in a quarter cumulatively. So this quarter started June 16th and it ends September 15th. And then on the night of September 15th, we all go back to zero. And on September 16th through December 15th, we do it all over again. All right. So what are some of the advantages of being a star consultant? First of all, you get to order early. So when new product comes out, you get to order um, seven days earlier than the whole rest of the sales force. Now that could be a really big deal when it's a limited edition holiday item. Because there have been times where I'm already ordering my second batch in those seven days and I've already sold my first batch. And the regular consultants didn't even get any yet. So ordering early is huge. Another reason is you were eligible for free referrals from the company as a star consultant. The third thing is prizes from corporate. Who doesn't want gift certificates or prizes? And the fourth thing is having product on hand. You guys will totally, I know each and every one of you get this. When you have product on hand, your customers are like, well, what else do you have? Like, I, I'm now back to packing my, my go tote. It looks like this. And I always put in here, um, her order is in a separate bag, but everything I think she might still want is in here. And I'll say, by the way, I brought some things. Can I show you? Never had my customer say, no, I don't want to see what's in your bag. They're curious. So taking good care of the customers and doing good customer service, but getting to order early is key. So being a star consultant could be one of your possibilities. And, and of that being a four quarter star. Now, when you are a four quarter star, you do get additional prizes from the company. Okay, another, another win for you, another possibility would be earning the consistent, the jewelry every month. So whether it be earrings or a necklace or whatever, whatever the powered by pink jewelry is, you don't want to miss that. Now, this year, you're getting these beautiful earrings when you do the first six months and a beautiful bracelet when you do the second six months. And when you've done all 12, you also get additional piece of jewelry. So and it's to die for stuff, beautiful quality. So that is something that you don't want to miss the first month. And the first month is this month. So you have to ask yourself, what do I need this month to look like over the next three weeks to generate 1200 in sales so I can do my $600 orders? Six, you know, 550 goes to your family, 
set aside 50 for section two samples because we're doing a lot of virtual stuff and then do your $600 order. So what does your activity level need to look like over the next three weeks? Plus what you've already done um, to have 1200 in sales to be able to do that 600. Does that make sense? Now, if you're building your inventory and your inventory is really small, you might sell eight or 900 and roll it all into an order and roll that and do that 600. But I want you to be able to pull money up for your family. All right. Another possibility goal is the company court of sales. Oh my gosh, you guys, the company, the rings this year. I mean, I think the rings are gorgeous every year, but especially this year, I think the rings are just over the top. They are absolutely beautiful and you can choose um, one of two rings or you can also choose cash. Cash is of course always an option. I don't always do that. I don't, I mean, you know, I, I, I totally get sometimes we just want to do cash, but I'm just going to share with you super quick what the pictures of the rings are. So this is when you do 40,000 retail in a month. So if you guys see these beautiful rings, you can choose the leaf style or this big five or six carat rose gold. It's all rose, rose gold and rose stone and rose all day, man. I love that. Um, so you have all kinds of chances to earn that. So this is when you do 40,000 retail in a year. And then of course the quarter sharing is a diamond B. And that is, this is, I think, one of the most coveted awards in Mary Kay, because this means that you have shared the opportunity with at least 24 women during the year and you get this diamond B. And you guys, that's an average of two a month. This isn't like you got to get 12 in a month. This is averaging two a month. And I'm going to break that down for you in just a second. All right. So the company court of sales is an option, possibility. Company court of sharing is a possibility. Star consultant we talked about. We also talked about the consistency jewelry and being doing it every month. And then you get the additional piece of jewelry. Um, and then of course there's the car and the car is a great thing because it's, it's something for you or your family. You can take cash. I don't care what kind of car you're driving, but I will tell you, you could be driving a Ferrari. I would still take the car. Guess what? Your customers don't see cash. They don't get it. But when you pull up in a Mary Kay car, they're like, Darcy, you've been doing this for how long? You're doing this super part-time and you got a car. I want to join your team. Like, you guys, I'm not kidding you. It is a trophy on wheels. It takes five people to go on target for the car. And it takes a total of 16 on your team to earn it. You can take one, two, three, or up to four months to earn the car. Most people do it in two or three. Just it's easier. You build, you start building momentum. And right now as we're gearing up, I hate to say to the holiday selling season, which will be, you know, September, October, November. Now, in my opinion, it's the easiest time to earn a car. The next six months is by far the easiest time to team build and, and earn a car. Okay, so you have all of these things as possibilities, right? So let's let's break down some of these. Let me show you guys where there's some great tracking. So a track number grows. So when I did the quarter sharing this last year, I took the tracking form and I'm going to show it to you right now. And as they join my team, I put their name in pen and underneath it, I put the month they joined. So it would say like Sarah May. And I knew that I had May, June, July, and August to make sure Sarah got seminar qualified. So I would either help her do her first couple parties. I would just want her off the ground, right? Off the ground, making money, having fun. And as soon as Sarah became 600 seminar qualified, I would then color in the square with her name on it. So if her name didn't get colored in, I think I had three people this last year that I team that I added to my team. They got a kit and they disappeared. I don't get that. I don't understand, but it, whatever, right? So I want to share with you guys where you guys can find some great tracking sheets. So you're going to go to, I'm sorry, I forgot to screen share. You're going, these are available to you guys right now. You're going to go to Janice's website, which I'll tell you it's called the gratitude area dot pink. So it's spelled T H E G R A T I T R U D E A R E A dot pink, the gratitude area dot pink. When you're on here, you're going to scroll down and you are going to go past events, although there's retreat, yay. Um, go down here, you're going to keep going to resources and you're going to look at seminar 2022 tracking sheets. So find one that you like. So there's several for the quarter sharing. You can do this one for the quarter sharing where it gives you a place to put their name. And then I would color, this is probably the one I'll use because I can color in the bubble after they join. You could do this one. It doesn't really make any difference which one you want to do. But those are both for the quarter of sharing. There's also this one that's got the sales and the quarter of sharing on the same sheet. So it totally depends on whatever you guys like. Here's another one that says their name and you're almost there. So let's just say you like this one the best. Just click on it, print it out, and post it. All right? So anybody who's already added a team member this month, like Glory, you probably have a brand new team member as of today. You're going to put your new team member's name right here. And then when she comes in seminar qualified or gets great start qualified, then she counts towards your B. 
All right, so let's look at the consultant quarter sales because I don't want this to be confusing to you guys. The company is tracking 40,000 retail. Notice these squares are 60,000, 600 wholesale. So what they've done is they've divided this in half and said, okay, well, if you do 20,000 wholesale, it's going to be 40,000 retail, which is true. But most of the time, you don't even have to do 20,000 wholesale. Um, most of the time, because the company will do those crazy specials, like 60% off, like they've had a few times. It's amazing because then you can really take advantage of that. So let me just share with you because I did break this down a little bit. I want to share this with you. So right now for sales court, and I apologize, I'm looking for my notes. Oh, there it is. Okay. So if you were, um, there's a couple of options to sales court. So I'm going to give you guys both. So one option with sales court is that you average 1530 a month, 1530 wholesale in a month. If you ordered 1530 a month, for all 12 months, you would have over 20,000 wholesale in, which would be 40,000 retail. So that is an option, all right? Option two is your customer base, excluding probably Cindy and a few of you that are listening to this have a great customer base. You, your customer base right now is smaller than it will be next June. So there is one that has a progression of 10 to 15% more every month. I'm going to give you these figures, so just jot them down. If you miss them, I will post them. But you would start July with a $600 order. That puts you on target for sales court. Okay, then in August, you order 720. And then in September, you order 824. Then in October, you order 936. November, you order 1044, 1044. And in December, 1253. Now, I'm going to post all these and all of that. But notice how every month it gets a little bigger, a little bigger, a little bigger. So it's growing between 10 and 15% every month all the way to June. Because your customer base is going to be growing bigger and bigger as you go. So that might be a great approach. If you have a month that you go way over, like let's say in, let's say this month you do 700 instead of 600, I would take that extra 100 wholesale and take it off another month. Say, well, you know, December, maybe you want to take it off of June because June is the biggest. But that is that. So there's two ways to track sales court is by just saying, you know what, I need to shoot for 1530 as my wholesale goal every month or do it on a progression and build. Okay, but it's super important to be consistent. All right. Um, so that's got sales court. Now, as far as Star Consultant goes, um, I will share with you guys one of the things that is going to help you all stay focused on a goal, myself included, is to have some type of a tracking sheet. And so one of the sheets that um, has been very, very helpful is Glory Mayfield Banks. Um, zip code sheet. <clears throat> but before I show that to you, I want to show you something else. I want to show you a weekly plan sheet because what I hear from a lot of consultants is I'm super busy. I don't have time or my time is really, my time really fluctuates. Some weeks I have more time. So this just gives you an idea. Now this is called a weekly plan sheet. You can print these out blank on the Mary Kay and touch. This shows somebody who wants to hold three to five shows a week. She has a full-time job and wants four family date nights. So she wants four nights to be with her family. She already works a full-time J-O-B. So Monday through Friday, nine to five is not an option. So she's going to squeeze everything else in. But this is for somebody who wants to become a director. So you might be thinking, wow, they can become a director with a full-time job and all of that. Absolutely. So notice on Sunday, she's got family time and she's choosing to do a $300 show or phone time on Sundays. I do find, although I take Sundays off, Sundays is a a night that I do have a lot of people ask me, could we do it on Sunday late afternoon? So you could, this is just an example. So it shows you she has one show on Sunday. Notice that she's being very smart with her time. Four lunches a week, she's doing a sharing appointment, either with her director or by herself. But she's sharing the career opportunity once, twice, three times, four times on her lunch break. Notice Monday night, she's got a skincare party or a Zoom party. Tuesday, she's got another one. Wednesday's family night. Maybe they have church or whatever. Thursday night, she's got another beauty show. Um, or maybe that's her Mary Kay meeting night. And so she brings people to their studio or whatever. Friday's family night or date night. Saturday night is date night, but she does book two on Saturday. So she gets up. She's out the door cute. And if you're out the door and you're cute, you might as well do two in one day. So this goes to show you. Now, she has five booked. Are all five of these going to hold? I hate to tell you that would be no. I can pretty much guarantee they're not going to all hold. But let me share with you what happens if this was your schedule. And all of a sudden, Tuesday morning, your hostess texts you and says, oh, my gosh, everybody here has a throat flu. Can we can we change our party to next Tuesday? And you're like, absolutely. But now you've got this spot open. 
So you have lots of options. If my family knows from seven to nine, I'm going to be gone. I might go from seven to eight and jam on the phone and sell a couple hundred dollars in reorders. Um, so you could do that. You could do, uh, you could book another last minute party. You could do all kinds of stuff with that block of time. But this kind of gives you guys an idea of what is possible for a weekly plan sheet. All right. So now let's go back to Mary Kay. Uh, I want to go back to Facebook. Okay. So let me go to this. I don't know what happened to that red squig. I'm not sure where that came from. Okay. That's not supposed to be me. There we go. Okay. So here's our dynamite unit group. So there is... Um, there is a great sheet that Gloria Mayfield put together. And I will tell you guys, it really does hold you accountable. And I will tell you, if you've had a, a past history, let it go. But if you've had a past history of starting and stopping and starting and stopping, almost always it's due to lack of accountability. Almost always it's because you're not accountable. Now, if you walked into a gym and Lori, Lori walked into my gym and she said, I'd like to hire you as my personal trainer. I'm, I'm going to say to Lori, tell me what your goal is, Lori. So associate this to Mary Kay, you guys. Tell me what your goal is, Lori. Lori might say, I want to lose 25 pounds. Okay, well, that is a completely different workout routine than if Lori says, I don't want to lose a pound at all. I just want to tone my arms and legs. Or she can say, I'm totally in perfect shape. I need to do this for conditioning my heart. I need to do some cardiovascular 45 minutes a day. I don't care if I lose weight. Well, each one of those goals has a different set of equipment. So you guys can look at my position and Lori's position as we're kind of like personal trainers. It's like, what are the results you want to get? And then we're going to help you figure out a, a map to get there, if that makes sense. So what I love about Gloria's sheet is it's, it's accountability. It's saying, okay, so five leads a day. So how many did you get yesterday? Let's say you got one lead. It's like, okay, well, I got one lead. My goal was five. I need to work on it. I need to bump that up. How many bookings did you get yesterday? Two. Yay, celebrate. You got your two bookings. How much did you have in sales? Now, this is sales for the week. I think yesterday I had about a 250, excuse me, hiccups, $250 day. I put that in there. Three sharing events. I actually had two people jump on the sessions last night, but I only got two, not three. So, but this kind of holds me accountable because this, this volume right here is going to give you absolute star consultant every quarter. It's going to get you absolute red jacket or team members. It, you're going to be making money for your family. So then right here, you can literally write the name of the faces. And here's what's fun. What is your average per face? Does anybody know? For over a year, I tracked their faces. I had some people that did zero. Some people would buy just like the masking brush of $12. And then I have other people spend $330. <laughs> so you add those all up so you can get your average. What is your average per face? Mine's a tiny bit over $100. And how about your hostesses? How much is your average party? And then right here, it shows who are your interviews. So when you guys print this sheet out, you can do it in black and white. But when you print this out, it's for the week. So if you want to, I'd love for you all to do an experiment. Print this out for the next four weeks. Use it, scotch tape it to the front of your fridge. When you're done with one week, peel it off, hold on to it. Let's go over it and put up the new one for the next week. But this is really going to help you guys stay focused. But your activity needs to be based on where you're going. Does that make sense? If your goal is to sell so much per week so you can put $1,000 in your Disney cruise fund, then that's going to be a different activity than if you say, I need to go and target for my car this month. So this is, this is also a, a better explanation of Gloria's thing. So these are both on our Facebook page. You guys are welcome to just take these and print them out. They're just a great tracking sheet. All right. So the most important thing I want you guys to kind of wrap your head around as we wrap things up here is, is just making sure that there needs to be a why, an emotional why attached to your goal. Okay. So about a year and a half ago, I had a consultant call me and she said she was really upset about missing Star Consultant, like more upset than normal. And I, and I just was a little surprised how, how upset she was. And I said, so explain to me something. I said, so what is your goal? She goes, I have to be a star this next quarter. I said, okay, tell me why. Tell, tell, explain that to me. Help me understand. And she said, I just really, she goes, it's a family thing. My kids get involved. They help pick out the prize. I really, really want to make sure I'm a Star Consultant this quarter. And I said to her, why is that important to you? And she said, because I want my kids to see me succeed. I want, and besides, I like having product. I like the recognition. I mean, she went, danced all around. I said, well, why is that important to you? And she said to me, well, it's important for me to, to have that win and for my family to help pick the prize and all of that. And I said, well, why is that important for your family to be involved? And she said, um, I actually get my, or she said, made a comment about her husband. 
And I said, so tell me about that. Why is that important to you? And she got tears in her eyes. And she said, the last two quarters, when my prize arrived, my husband looked at me and he said, honey, I am so proud of you for winning, for earning luggage for the, for the family. Or I am so proud of you for earning kitchen knives for the entire family. That is amazing. And he gave her a kiss and a hug and he made her feel like she had just won the lottery. And that is the reason that she wants to be a star consultant. Ordering early was nice. But what really pulled at her heart was she wanted her husband to be there when the prize showed up because she wanted him to say, I'm proud of you. You earning that for our family means a lot. That's what's driving her. So what's driving you? Do you want to be able to say to your spouse, hey, I really would like to go on a, Mex on a cruise to Mexico for Christmas this year. Or maybe that's the wrong thing to pick for cruises. But anyway, let's say you said you want to, you want to rent an a Airbnb in, in Cabo and spend and have your first traditional, you know, out of the U.S. holiday. And you could say to your significant other, your family, I'm going to pay for the whole thing. Now, some of you might be going, that's where your brain is like your box. And you're like, wait a minute, that's past my wall. That's like, ah, I've never done that. <laughs> what I will tell you is when you go online to figure out how much the Airbnb house is going to be, when you need to make a deposit, then you break it down. And guess what? You will be so motivated so motivated every time you sell a hundred dollars if you're putting 25 dollars of that into your mexico fund and you have a 300 dollar party you're like 75 bucks from mexico we're going we're going and you just get your head so wrapped around that so i want to share with you guys two last really quick things one is has to do with team building and i find that when consultants get a little tongue-tied on how to share the core opportunity part of that is i think they're what i hear is i don't want to seem pushy <clears throat> But then I also prejudge and say, well, she's already too busy. She can't afford it or she makes too much money or she already has a powerful job. Why would she be interested in Mary Kay? And I will tell you guys, there is every walk of life. There are people who um, wait tables, who are waitresses, who have nothing more than a six, nothing more. I shouldn't say it that way. They have a, they don't even have a high school education and they are, they are flourishing in this company, earning Cadillacs and everything. And then there's other people who have multiple degrees bachelor's, master's, PhDs, that they're just not happy or there's a void in their life. Maybe it's a, a faith-based um, structure that they, they miss being around the community, the support. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's tax deductions. You never know. But I will tell you from the bottom of my heart, I think every woman, and I know you might think this is crazy, but I truly believe every woman needs to be in Mary Kay for one year of her life. Come in for a year, hang around the culture. See if you don't start thinking about things differently. See if you don't start paying a little bit more attention, maybe to your faith, maybe paying a little bit more attention to your time, to your emotions, wanting to make a difference. So I'm going to share with you, and I am going to post these. There is this really great sheet called a proven script for five new team members. Now, if you don't want five new team members in the next 30 days, then just kind of ignore this. Um, you don't have to even pay any attention to this. But in case you're interested in adding five team members, then I would say listen in. All right, so this is the proven script. So you can literally print this out and it says list 30 names of women. So you literally could just take this with a pen and you could just fill in names and not prejudge, not wonder, you know, who's who's busy, whatever. Just list 30 sharp people, right? So this is your, your little grid sheet, all right? And then what's going to happen is you're going to talk to all 15 of these people or all 30 of these people. 15 of them statistically will usually agree to hear more about the Mary Kay story. They'll, they'll listen for a free lipstick, lip gloss, whatever. And out of those 15, usually four to five will join. So I would love for anybody um, 30 days from today to let me know what your results are. This is what I'm going to do because I haven't done this particular thing in a while. And I'm thinking, you know, I want a gold medal this month. Why not? So here's the script. You say, you know, hey, Glory, this is Diane with Mary Kay. Do you have a minute? I'm really excited because I've been challenged to share the Mary Kay, I would say the Mary Kay story, but you can say whatever you want, the Mary Kay story with some really sharp women um, in the next, I would say in the next week, because I don't want her to put it off in the next week. And you know what? I keep thinking about you. I don't know if this is anything that you would ever think about for yourself in a million years, but I'd love to give you a now $10 gift certificate that wouldn't motivate me, but 15 might, or you could say a free mascara. And say, so, you know, I don't know if you've ever thought about this or if you, you know, consider this, but I would love to give you a free mascara or a $15 gift certificate. Good for everything, good for anything that you want. And all I need is 25 minutes to get your thoughts on the information. We can do it over the phone or over Zoom or over coffee. Would you help me with my challenge? And then remember, then just 
wait to see what she says. I might, I might even say there's absolutely no obligation, but would you help me with my challenge? And then I might even throw in something like, I hope you take this as a compliment because I'm really picky about who I ask. Because I don't want them to think that I'm just going down my contacts in my phone because I'm not, <laughs> not in a million years, because I want to handpick who I'm going to spend the next 20 years of my life with. I'm excited about all of you in my unit. I want to spend the next 20 years of my life with all of you, but not everybody in my phone do I want to spend the next 20 years of my life with. So if you guys like this, does anyone have questions on this particular script? Nope. Okay. Nope. So, oh, go ahead. Nope, I don't. It's pretty okay. clear, straightforward. Okay. So the last where one. Do we, where do we find that to print it out? I'm going to post with as soon as we get off. I'm going to post all these on our unit Facebook page, as well as this recording. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. You're very, very welcome, you guys. All right. So the next thing I'm going to share with you guys, I found a friend of mine did this article. She sent it to me because she was she reached out to a few of, of, of where there's a whole bunch of us that used to room together at a leadership conference, and now she's a different seminar, and um. I um, heard about her through her director. She was not a director when she did this, but she learned, she decided that she wanted to just focus on faces. She said, if I focus on sales, I don't do any well. She knows her personality. She said, but if I focus on faces, I know that I can really flourish with this. So with that said, she went on a rampage of a hundred faces. Now, when I did this, I was doing a lot of before and after pictures, but now my emphasis is on skincare. So I'm going to say to them, can we do your before with your charcoal mask on and your after with your beautiful, healthy skin? And you can be goofy, you can be silly, but I really want a great selfie. So if you do these on Zoom, you encourage her to take her own picture and send it to you. Does that make sense? So I want to share with you guys what this woman learned. Now, can you guys see the, the, the article or do I need to change the screen share? I can see it. Okay, perfect. Thank you for that, Darcy. So it says 100 faces. And I'm just going to zip through this really, really quick as I wrap things up. This is what she learned by facialing 100 people. She says, I can't believe it's over. My portfolio of 100 women is complete. I'm ready to travel to leadership with my sister directors where I can verify that I did it. She did it in 91 days. So she gave herself 100 days to do 100 faces. You don't have to do one at a time, obviously. You would do them in groups, but I'm just saying. Her national, Cindy Williams, asked her to recount what she had learned. Now she retailed in 91 days. So you guys, this is three months. She retailed over four. Now this is like, I want to say seven years ago. I think she did like seven or eight years ago. She retailed back then $14,000 retail. Now, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but do the math. Half of that's her profit. How many of you would like to put $7,000 worth of uh, money in your pocket in the next 90 days? Um, I, don't, I can't see your hands, but my guess is your hand would be up just like mine. <laughs> All right, so here's a couple things. And I will post this article as well. Number one, fear of embarrassment's a good thing. She said she announced that she was going to do it at a training session. Then all of a sudden she went, oh my God, my whole unit just heard me. What am I going to do? And she felt complete panic. But she said she only had two parties on her books. But she had all her, all of her unit was sitting there knowing that she had said this and adoptees and everything. So she said, oh my God. So she decided she was going to make this happen. So you guys can read all this article later. The next thing is she found thousands of dollars in her customer base. How many people that she had facialed that came in once and maybe bought something and has never bought anything from her since, or maybe they got on skincare, but they've never even tried makeup. So she goes back and explains, oh my gosh, what if I could meet with them another time? So she explains how she did that. The third thing she did is she goes, people want to be models. So naturally her booking script changed when she began the portfolio saying, I'm doing a model portfolio project for Mary Kay that requires me to facial hundred women by blank day. Will you be willing to have a complimentary makeover and let me take a before and after picture? Now you could do something, I'm gonna say something about, I'm doing a powered by pink portfolio featuring a hundred women who are in love with themselves and their skin. So we can do, I have a whole skincare section and I will do some color ones, but I'm really looking for women who wanna be in love with their skin. And so I'm, I'm because of COVID and stuff, I'm gonna really, really change this so that mine are not all color. I will do some before and after color ones, but I really wanna do ones that are in love with their skin. So she, she says what she says, and then they say that they would help her. So it, 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 she covers that. Number four, people want to help you reach your goal. So as she moved along in the faces count, she noticed several things. In the beginning, people were sympathetic that I, quote, had to do so many faces they were willing to help me. But in the middle, they became afraid for me that I wasn't going to make it. So they were willing to lend me their face. And toward the end, I just needed, quote, a few more, and they were willing to help me finish. But she said it'd be really enrolling your customers, and this is important, have a firm deadline. She goes, I became completely convinced that women are innately helpful and they will help you cross the finish line. 
So like one gal would say, well, Regina, I can't make it today, but I know you need me by the 31st. So how's next Thursday? <laughs> so they're making sure that they get fit in to help her. So she talks about that. She talks about tell your daughter, the dog catcher, tell everybody, your husband, your kids, your team members, everybody. Because the more people you tell, of course, the more your brain is going to go, oh my God, we've never done this before, but that's okay. All right. The sixth thing she learned was a booking a day keeps the blues away. She said in the beginning, she used to think only of making bookings over the phone and that works, but here's what happened. And I thought this was brilliant. During the project, she said she'd be shopping or running errands and she'd run into somebody that she hasn't seen in a while. And so she'd say to them, um, she told them that she was keeping really busy with a hundred face portfolio. And then she asked them on the spot, on the spot. And so she would literally say, well, gosh, you know what? I'm book, I'm a booking machine. And, and so she'd never done that before, but she literally would say, oh my gosh, I'm doing this project. I've, I've got to finish a hundred faces. Could I fit you in? Could I count on you? And she just asked and fit them in, like literally booked them on the spot. Number seven, don't make deals with the devil. This is like, what I was talking to you about this before. When the end seems so far away and you're so tired that nobody's cheering you on, I'm here to tell you, if you do a hundred faces, there will be some long, hard middle miles. But it's important to know that in advance, you can resist what I call deals with the devil. Start thinking, well, it would be okay if I did 75 faces. That's still pretty good. Or, well, maybe I can do 100 faces by January and you bump it out 30 days. Watch out. Don't change the goal. I personally would suggest that you find a running partner. Find someone else who wants to do this with you. Or if you want to do 60 faces in 60 days, whatever you want to do, but find a running partner. I think it holds you accountable. It's like going to the gym with a friend kind of thing or going on a diet with a friend. Here are the results really quick. Sold over $14,622, did 104 faces. She recruited eight people in those 91 days, six in the month of November. She earned her 17th gold medal. She finished the quarter as a Pearl Star consultant with 9,900 points, gang. <laughs> so she's choosing multiple prizes. She was currently the director queen of sales for her national area and her unit is so excited. Now they wanna do it with her, which I thought was just brilliant. So can you guys see how important it is to have something like tracking, accountability? And so I will tell you guys, that's, that's what I'm here for. So I am here as, as like a coach for all of that stuff, all that accountability. So I will post the weekly plan sheet, the script, what the lady learned about doing 100 faces, all the tracking sheets are on Janice's website. I will post this video as soon as it uploads. It takes about 20 minutes. And the last thing I want to close with you guys is I had the privilege of sneaking in on Leah Lachlan, who's this amazing training national. She's young, but she's, she's a phenomenal trainer. I love the way her brain thinks. She, our brains think a lot alike. And um, she did a 21 day Voxer challenge. So you had to be on Voxer and I know not all of you are, but she gave everybody 30 days to listen to 21 Voxers. Every Voxer, which is just a mess, voice message was between, I would say four and seven minutes, but every day it talked about something different for 21 days. Now I'm going to launch this today. If you guys want to do it, I will send you an email. All you do is save the email in your phone and every day you click on one of the things you don't have to, I'm not going to post all this on Voxer, I'm going to do it by email. And then every day, the only requirement is, is that you text me and say day four and maybe what you learned, like hashtag get up and pee. Cause that is actually one of the things, but don't be sending me that one. Um, so, but she's got these, it's, it's amazing because it's 21 days. So the first thing I did every morning when I was on my walk is I listened to the, the, the message for the day. And then because it was short and impactful, I would often listen to it. Like as I walk back in home where I have a piece of paper, but it really helped me shift my thinking. It was a lot about money management, emotional management, time management, working your business, staying your head in the game, not, not looking around at other people. And I think it was valuable. So I'm going to kick it off from. Today's the 9th. Well, I was actually going to do it on the 10th, but you can jump start it today. So I was going to do it July 10th through August 10th. You have those 30 days to listen to all 21 of them. I don't suggest you ramp. You do whatever you want. As long as you listen to all 21, you have to text me every day that you listen to one though. Let me know because I have a check off list. I'm just going to just hashtag off your name, check off your name. When you complete it, you will get to choose between one of three Mary Kay money bags. We as directors have the ability to order a couple of new money bags. Um, one has like, um, like pink roses on it. One, one is solid black, like a leopard print. And one's got another big vinyl heart on it. Um, and one is the black and white stripe one they made available. So you get a Mary Kay money bag, which I love because I use one money bag for money and I have the other money bag in my car. Guess what's what in it? 
charcoal mask samples with my business card, two pens, and a card for them to fill out. And I take that money bag everywhere I go. I leave it in my car and I go to the Trader Joe's, I grab my money bag. I was in Costco yesterday, I grabbed my money bag and I had my Mary Kay tote. A lady started talking to me. She used to use Mary Kay. She used to sell it in another country down in uh, El Salvador, I think she said, or uh, El Salvador. So we started talking and she hasn't used Mary Kay in over 10 years. So I got her name and number. I gave her a charcoal mask sample, but I was always prepared with my money bag. So you want to win the money bag. If you, if you, if the 21 day little messages every day sound like something you'd want to do, just text me. I'm not going to post it because I don't want people to be able to just go on and do it. I need a commitment from you that you want to do it. And I just will email you. And I just ask that you don't forward that out to everybody else. Cause I really want to make this special. So you'd have 30 days to listen to all 21 messages. So let me know if you're in for that. And I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording.